This is an emergency, I beg in urgency, this is a serious case The way you're putting work on me, just like a surgeon when you operate that face Hi everyone, I'm Baron Samadhi the Alchemist and I want to thank you guys for coming to my channel once again before I get started with this video, I want you to click, share, and subscribe. I think I said it right, but hey, I'm not a salesman. Or am I? Bye, Alchemist. Just jiving with you. All right, again, I'm Barry Samadhi, the Alchemist, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the importance of Florida water for all spell work. Not some spell work, not just any damn spell work, all spell work. And uh, as far as the history of Florida water, I think it happened when Ponce de Leon, the guy that was looking for the founder youth and everything, he came here to Florida and did his thing. I don't know. I just know that since I've been a boy, I've been seeing my grandma use this. My uncle used this when he used to cut my hair. I cut everybody hair. He would always, hey, go get me some Florida water. And he said, keep away the bad demons out the head. Uh, before we used to go to bed at night, after we get out the shower, uh, my grandma, again, she would pour this in her, in, in her hand and just rub it all over our head and our face and the back of our necks, down our spine. And we, we never knew what was going on. We just know we went to bed smelling refreshed and good and we slept really well. But as I grew up and got into the the metaphysical world, the occult practices and the esoteric, uh, got back to my African roots and um, learned what Florida water was about. It's about cleansing. It's all about cleansing your your aura, your chakra, the day if you've been working all day and you want to come home and do a card reading, which I do, uh, details below. Uh, you have to cleanse your cleanse your hands and your aura with Florida water. And at the end of this video, once I get through talking about the importance of Florida water, I'm going to give you guys a real good night, a real good night spell, something you could do using Florida water, something that was taught to me by my grandma. Again, I love my grandma, y'all. Tough, tough beige and broad. So again, I'll give you guys a spell to help you guys sleep better at night uh, when it comes to dealing with Florida water. That's what the blue candle here is for. So without further ado, the importance of Florida water in any spell you do. Before you do anything, you would like to wash your hands with soap and water. And before you touch any of your consecrated items that you've meditated and prayed on and all that stuff, you always want to douse your hands with Florida water. I mean, I mean and I'm going to... and uh, here's another thing. Here's another thing, and I can't stress this enough. And this is something that you can't get away with. When I do my spells and when I do work for people, I do not take this for granted. For every job you do, for every piece of work you do, and you're going to consult a different entity, a different saint, a different spirit, you always use a fresh bottle of Florida water. It can get expensive, I know. But when you're dealing with spirits, you want to make sure they are appeased and you want to make sure you show respect. So if you're going to deal with any spirit, any any entity, any angel, anything that you may demon, always get you a fresh bottle of Florida water. Open it up and let that bottle be dedicated to them along with the other consecrated items. Now you can clean all your items with Florida water to which if you're burning candles, you really should be cleaning with Florida water and sage like a double whammy, you know, with water and air. That's what you should be doing. But uh, that's another video when I talk about the difference of candles and how to utilize different candle magic when it comes down to it. So now that that's been said and that's out of the way. So the importance of Florida water. The importance of Florida water is to just clean. And that's what we're here for. It, it's just to clean. You could clean your lungs. You could clean your aura. You could clean. And, and also another good thing about Florida water is here to protect. People don't look at Florida water as a protection. And pair it with casquilla. Pair, pair. If you pair Florida water with casquilla powder and make like a paste and you put it on the base of your spine, the base of your neck, I mean right here uh, between the spine and the neck, right where that little base at, and you make a paste with it and you put that powder right there, you'll be surprised how well that'll protect you from any entities trying to sneak up on you. 
Because let's face it, when you're dealing with spiritual practices, you got these entities that don't come at your head on. You got some that like to come in and influence from the back. And once they get around there, you got that the protection of the Casquille powder all over your body, paired with the nice patch and pasty patch of Florida water and Casquille, they can't influence you. This allows you to focus better on your spell work. But that, that's going to come soon in the videos I'm going to be teaching you guys. I'm starting to school about this right here because a, a lot of people need to know how to do this the right way. People know how to read a book and go on the internet and find things, but they don't know the mechanics of it all. And uh, every good spell needs a great mechanical sense to it. But back to the Florida water, the importance of it. The importance of it is to consecrate and clean every single item you have that you're going to use in a single ritual. Sometimes it may take two, sometimes it may take one. But again, you buy a brand new, fresh bottle of Florida water. Every item you're going to use in a magic and your magical spell, your magical work, you allow that bottle to clean everything. Only thing you have to do is pour half of the bottle in, in a pot, in a bowl, with another consecrated item. You take each one of the, you take your knife, you take anything. Uh, so, so this is a knife I use for my uh, dispatching of animals. I'm not going to say the, the, the S word. I use this knife to dispatch various animals I do inside my work. I have to make sure this knife is consecrated before I call on an entity to inhabit this blade in order to do the sacrifice. Oop, I said it. So seriously, so I make sure this is ran through with Florida water, getting all the last, getting all the, the negative energy from the last spell or for the last piece of work I did. You know, the bowls I use, the down to the to the sacred items I use, my incense pot. I make sure I wash them really good. I wipe down my candles with it that I'm gonna use in that spell work and everything, and it's great. I even soak my crystals in it. So my crystals, all my quartz crystals, geodes, agates, soak them all. So Florida water is very important. I would not go about doing any spell without utilizing Florida water. I don't even touch my deck of cards or read anybody without putting Florida water on my hands to wash off any negative influence from the day. Also, another good thing about Florida water, I'm gonna tell you something, and and you're really gonna get, and this is a trippy, when I say this is a trippy, it's a trip. When I clean my bathroom, scrub the toilet bowl, tub, all that good stuff, I do the flush, get all the, the dish detergent, I mean, get all the, the detergent, the, you know, the, the bleach and stuff, I take some Florida water and I drop it in my toilet. You'll be surprised how aromatic it makes your bathroom smell fresh. You walk in the bathroom, it's like, whew. you're going there, you do your business, relieving your body of the negative entities. When it touches that Florida water, it's like a poopery. <laughs> I love that. It's like poopery. Smell dissipates, flush, and the freshness stays. So, man, there's a million in one thing to Florida water. Again, I used to get a haircut and they used to rub this on the back of my neck so I wouldn't get bumps. Grandma used to, like, again, rub it all over my face and my head and the back of my neck down my spine so that we could sleep well and we won't have bad dreams. That's another thing for it. So that's basically it. I got it. That's all I got to say about Florida water. But as an added bonus, I want to get you, I want to help you guys learn how to sleep better using Florida water, uh, yarrow root, uh, Florida water, yarrow and a blue candle that's it that's all you need uh and a bay leaf i'm sorry and a bay leaf so so check this out check this out simple you're gonna go you're gonna get one of these 10 things right here it's like an instant pot where you can boil you know you put your little liquid on top right here and you put one of these sorry you put one of these tea tree these tea leaf tea tree candles Inside here, you know, it, it heats up the little thing. It heats up the liquid and, you know, make it scent. So, this is a spell just for you guys. No spell. I mean, this is just a remedy, a reliever, something to de-stress you. A ritual, however you want to call it. I'm not going to name it. So, first thing you want to do, you want to take some yarrow. I like to buy my yarrow from Leaves and Roots uh, here in Orlando area. But, you know, you can get yarrow root or yarrow plant, yarrow stalk. I don't know. They got so many names for it. You can get yarrow offline. 
but I but you got to use jar rolls. So what you would do, you would take a little jar roll, and this is coming straight from the bag, y'all. Take jar roll. Want to dump just a little bit in there. I'll put it like this. Hopefully you can see it. Take a little jar roll. Take your tea tree candle. You're gonna put it in here facing up. I'll put it like this. You're gonna take your, you're gonna take a single bay leaf. You're gonna crack it. You're gonna crumble it up. Sit it in type of here. You're gonna take your Florida water. Keep in mind this is a this is a brand new fresh thing. Now once this yarrow, you get a marker. Take a marker and mark on what each one of your uh your bottle of Florida water is for. Anytime you say if you do a spell to Oshun, you write. This bottle is for Oshun. You do a spell to any other deity, you write this bottle is for that deity. Right now, I'm going to write on here, this uh, This is for uh, sleep, meditation, peace of mind spell, you know, clearing my head, whatever, just as long as I know that this bottle of Florida water is utilizing this particular work. And it will always be utilizing this particular work until it's gone. So again, first bottle. I'm going to do something when I open this. Don't judge me, y'all. I've been messing with these spirit work too long, and I just love to. I love the damn smell of it. That's all you got to do. Get in between the finger joints. Pull your joints, you know, demon lines in the joints. That's why people catch arthritis, but that's another video for another time. If you want to know how to get rid of arthritis, Send me a message below and I'll show you a spell work to get rid of that. Gout, arthritis, all that good stuff. Joint pain, tendonitis, tennis elbows, all the same. That's what demons like. Fresh bottle, Florida water. Gonna pour a generous amount too. Don't skip on it. Gonna pour a generous amount. Put your cap back on. This Florida water is now dedicated to this. Sleep this uh peace of mind spell peace. Mm, we'll call it any name. I probably think of somebody in of what they used to call. It, but my grandma used to do this to help us sleep. She would put it by her bed, and you know she would sleep. Yarrow bay leaf, Florida water, and she would always have a blue candle. You know, blue represent water, spirit, calm, emotion, and all that good stuff. She would always have a blue candle burning as well with this particular ritual, particular spell. Because we're going to ask, you know, the common waters, you my y'all to come and wash all the bad shit out of our mind, out of our head. So we can sleep, we can, you know, get our thought patterns right. So, that's it. Yarrow, bay leaf, Florida water, blue candle. Light this. Let it simmer, let it met, let it simmer, let it heat up. Let the cleansing power of the yarrow and the bay and the soothing you know, the soothing aroma of the bay leaf and, the, and for all for its, you know, all for its money practices, all for its financial uh, properties. And the yarrow is a cleanser 100%. It should be steeped and put in drunk as a tea or steeped and put in any kind of cleansing spell work. But again, I got so many videos that's going to be coming at you guys and I want you guys to really understand that this channel is here to help you all. So, but this is going to help you well. So, the yarrow root. Bay leaf, one of these little pottery incense dealios. I got it from the dollar store for a dollar, so you can get it. Also got the tea, the, the tea tree uh, candles from the dollar store as well. Get a pack of 30 for like four bucks and a blue candle. Set this on fire, light it, let the heat up, let it cook this off. The aroma of the Florida water right next to your bedside, you light this blue candle. And you just go to sleep. Turn off your television. Turn off your music. You don't need meditation music at all. You just go to sleep. That's it. You're going to have pleasant dreams. If you've been having bad dreams, uh, insomniac, you can't sleep. You lay down with this, smelling this, lighting this. Guaranteed, you'll get you some good rest at night. Okay, so that was just a, some quick and brief may not seem quick to me, but it was quick and brief. Everybody, I'm Baron Samadhi, the Alchemist. I would like to thank you all for coming to my channel and patronizing me. Again, I love doing these videos for you guys, and I'm going to be doing a lot more. I've dedicated myself to 
my viewers, my subscribers. So, and that being said, don't forget to hit, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share it if you to anybody with anybody you feel that can use uh, some of my teachings, some of my spell work, and everything. Also, spread the wealth, like the video, and please leave a comment, good or bad, questions and all. I'm here. That's what I do. All right, everybody. I'm Baron Samadhi, the Alchemist. Thank you for coming to my channel. Remember, trust in your universe because at the end of the day, you all you got. Take care.